Hi guys, Mr. Off Waffles here. This is a no-nonsense guide for you to get the Death of Orion Wonder Weapon, upgradable to the Sir Kett's Kiss in the map 9 in Black Ops 4 Zombies. To begin with, I highly recommend taking the advice that my buddy Codename Pizza gives, which is that really, you should stay in the spawn for the first couple of rounds of your game and do the first three medallion challenges accessible by knifing ropes around the arena. The reason for this is that it's going to give you a pack-a-punched Zed Harmony pistol, and that's just going to make your life a lot easier as you go through all of the steps. It's also generally just a good idea to do those challenges. To kick those challenges off, you need to go to one of the four ropes in the starting arena and knife it. You'll then claim some challenges, and a challenge will pop up on the left side of your screen. It might be get a certain number of equipment kills, or knife kills, or consecutive headshots, etc. Do the first challenge, and then go into the central podium of the map and claim your reward from the pillar which corresponds to your set of challenges. So if you knife the rope at Odin, it will be on the Odin side of that central podium. You'll then get another challenge. You need to do this twice more, and that third reward is going to be the Z Harmony. Once you've done those three challenges as well, you'll be able to pick up a pot from the center of the arena. It will be lying on this kind of podium here. You definitely need to grab that as well. If it hasn't spawned in yet, make sure that you've got a good crowd affinity. That's the green hand in the bottom left hand corner of your screen. And you can get that by staying alive, getting headshots and doing those challenges. One quick note here is that if you get anything mentioning the brazen bull in those first three challenges, then that just means you need to build the shield. That's the name of the shield. I highly recommend you do that because the shield in this map is going to be absolutely invaluable to your playtime, so build the shield anyway. I've got a guide for it on my channel if you need one. It's actually really convenient because for the next step, we're going to be activating Pack-a-Punch, and that means we're going to be running around all four of the god corners of the map. So we're going to start off with Ra here. I'm going to hit this gong by holding square to summon the champions of Ra. That's going to then, once I kill the champions of Ra, give me a blue glowing head, and we're going to rinse and repeat. We'll run over to Danu. We'll do the same thing there, getting the champion head. We'll then run over to Odin, do the same thing there, square on the gong, get the champion to spawn in, kill them, get another head, and then finally Zeus's temple. There's time to spawn for me. Kill them both, get ahead, and then you're ready to actually open the Pack-a-Punch itself. Now, while you're running around those four areas, you can grab all the shield parts because you've got all the parts of the map open that have shield parts in at that point. Once you have all four of your heads, run down into the temple area of the map. If you can't figure out how to get in there, just run in circles around that underground area and you should be able to find an opening. There are a couple of doors that will be shut, but you don't need to worry about those. There are other ways to get into the temple. Once you're there, hold square on the metal spikes and and the heads will get placed on the spikes and Pack-a-Punch will open seconds later. While you're in the Pack-a-Punch room, there are going to be two parts for the acid trap, which we'll need later on, which we're going to pick up. One of them is a metal chain. To get this one, face the Pack-a-Punch, the front of the Pack-a-Punch itself, and take a sharp left. Then, hook around the corner and you should see the metal chain hanging over one of the flaming torches. The other part we're going to need is a wooden cog. To get this one, from where we just were, go diagonally across the room to the other side and you should find the cog underneath one of these metal braziers in the corner and you can pick it up by again just holding square. Once pack a punch is opened, our job is going to be to shoot over an urn of fire. To do this, come to this kind of metal grid window thing between the Ra and Danu temples, but staying underground. You'll see that there's a pot down this corridor that's on fire, and you're going to want to shoot that a couple of times with your Pack-a-Punched Zed Harmony. It should fall over, and you'll then see fire beginning to swirl up and into the air in that little corridor that you've just been looking down. This is a sign that you've done the step correctly and you're ready to move on. One thing worth noting is if you don't have a Pack-a-Punched weapon, you can also use a frag grenade to knock down the fire. Go above ground now between the Ra and Danu temples. We specifically want the bridge between those two temples. Head onto there and look down towards the central arena of the map and then down a little bit further and you should see a fiery symbol which is actually an arrow. It's going to be pointing towards one of the four god temples on the map. In my case, as you can see here, the arrow is pointing towards the Zeus temple. The reason we need to pay attention to this arrow is that 
It's going to tell us the location of a head, which we need to pick up. It'll go into our inventory, and we'll then be melting it a little bit later in this guide. Pretty wacky stuff. I'm going to show you all four spawn locations for the head, because there's obviously one in each god temple, but you should only have one of them in your game. Just follow the arrow, and you'll be fine. For Danu, run two levels down from the top level of the temple, and once you get in there and you get to the bottom of the stairs, pretty much straight away in front of you, you should see a little black rock. That's actually the head, so you can go ahead and grab it. It will just be floating in the water right in front of you when you exit those stairs. For the Ra temple, you're going to look in one of a few fire pits. It's on the level of the temple that contains the bowie knife, so you should have the bowie knife to your right hand side, there'll be fire pits right in front of you, as you can see in this gameplay here, and you'll then be able to just run over to that head once again, hold square, and pick it up. For Odin, we're going to be starting in the pit area of the map and running up towards his temple, and as we do so, you'll come across a big cauldron. If you look down, you should, at the base of the cauldron, somewhere around its edge, see the head just right there at the base of the cauldron. For Zeus, if you run down from the top of the temple to the room with the red bath of blood, and then you step into the bath of blood and do a 180, you should see the head lying in the corner here. And... If you're confused, just look in all the corners of that bath of blood. Once you've got the head from the relevant god temple in your game, you're going to want to come to the walkway kind of corridor between the spawn area of the map and the Ra temple. You're going to be able to craft the acid trap here because of the fact that we picked up those three parts for it earlier in the game. That was the wooden cog, the metal chain, and the pot. Once the trap's built, you're going to place the head that you've just picked up down below the trap itself on this metal grate. Turn on the trap and the acid will fall onto the head and it will get melted. When the trap has finished, you're going to want to go back over to it and you should see that the head has melted away into a scorpion which you can pick up. We're not quite at the end of the easter egg here, but we're very nearly there. Once the scorpion's been picked up, come to the central arena of the map and make sure you've got glowing green crowd affinity. Now, I know I've already mentioned this, but I'm going to go into extra detail now just because I know some people are going to struggle with this step and I want to make sure that everyone has a fair chance of getting the death of Orion. Positive crowd affinity, that's turning the hand in the bottom left from a thumbs down into a very strong glowing sort of sparking thumbs up can be done in the following way. You need to get a lot of kills, using your specialist weapon is really good for this, grabbing power-ups also helps, using traps, not getting hit is really important. If you can avoid getting touched by the fire, and by the way, you should be doing this in the arena area of the map up top. Don't throw any grenades at the audience, that's a way to make the crowd unhappy for sure. Also, I recommend that you turn on subtitles, which are in your audio settings, for this step. Once the crowd are pleased enough with you and you've got enough kills in that central arena to make them all happy, they're going to want to give you a gift. And the announcer will say something like, a gift from the gods. When this happens, you're going to want to keep your eye out for a small present of some kind being thrown into the arena. As your affinity goes from negative to positive, you'll get some items thrown from the crowd, but they won't be what you want here. You just need to keep going when that happens so you have a strong full thumbs up with the glowing green sparks on it. When you get the sparks and then you get an item, that's when you know that you're on the right track for the Easter egg quest. Now, it can be quite hard to see, but if you look for the confetti effect when it lands, that can help you find it. But also, I just recommend that as soon as you hear that quote, you basically keep scanning the horizon and seeing where it lands. Once that thing hits the floor, it's going to break open and inside there will be a small gold cup that you can pick up. Hold square and pick it up. Head over to the bottom of the Danu temple and you'll find that one of the trees, as I'm showing you in my gameplay here, has a hole in it. You need to go over to the hole, hold square to put your scorpion inside it, and then hold square again below the hole to put down your glass cup. If the scorpion isn't going in the tree, knife the hole instead of holding square. That should sort it because you're like stabbing it into the tree, but the cup should still go down from holding square. Tree sap will be drained by the scorpion and start falling into the cup. At this point, you need to kill whatever zombies are around you and end your round. Try and hold square on the cup to pick it up. If you can't just yet, you might need to wait a little bit more time or get some more kills in this room. But you should be fine once the round ticks over. Once the cup has been able to be picked up, you need to head over to the mystery box. You're going to donate your little cup of acid to the mystery box itself. Just scoot along the sides of the box here, give it the cup, 
and then use the box and you should get the death of Orion right out of it on your first spin. Congratulations, you've now finished the process and if you so desire, you can pack a punch this thing as well. The way it works is on R2, your right trigger, you can just fire your scorpion, which sounds ridiculous, right? And then if you hold R2, you hold right trigger and charge up and then release, you can fire a capture beam. This is honestly one of the weirdest but coolest Zombies Wonder Weapons I think we've had so far. So much of the time, we just end up with a regular gun type thing. Like, you think of a Wonder Weapon like the Scavenger, for example, and it's literally just a strong gun. And then you compare it to this, and you're literally holding a scorpion, holding and charging and then firing a capture beam? Uh, excuse me? <laughs> I think it's awesome though. Anyway, hopefully this gameplay at the end of the video has been useful to give you guys an idea of how the weapon works. To be clear, the upgraded version is the Sir Kett's Kiss, while the regular version is the Death of Orion, and so if you need either of these for your medallion challenges in the spawn area of the map, you now know how to get it. I'm gonna wrap things up here though. I have been Mr. Ruffle Waffles. Thank you for watching this no-nonsense guide. If you've enjoyed, then please drop a like, subscribe, turn on notifications with the bell. I really recommend you do that. And I'll see you guys very soon in more Black Ops 4 Zombies videos. Bye-bye.